Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Sarah and this is a coloring book review for the Sweet Shop Coloring Book, a fantastical and splendid display of divine confectionery creation and exquisite candied delights. That is a mouthful. This is illustrated by Chris Price down here at the bottom and this book is one that opens um, in a different direction. So it doesn't open left to right, it opens from up and down like that. Um, the cover here is a very nice um, almost pressed paper like homemade pressed paper kind of feel to it. It isn't pressed paper but it feels that way and there is a shine on the letters. Can you see that on there? Um, so the, the letters are metallic and it's really nicely made. The binding it's, it's, it is sewn um, and the front cover is glued to the sewn book itself. Um, the dimensions of the book are 11 across and 10 down. This is a really unique book, and I got a whole stack of coloring books today, so be on the lookout for these, these new ones. Uh, one is Around the World in 80 Colors. The other one is The Curiosity Shop by the same author, Chris Price, illustrator. The next one is uh, To the Moon, and this opens up to 15 feet. Um, it is a vertical coloring book, uh, very unique. And I also have the To the Deep Ocean, and it is also a 15-foot opening uh, spread coloring book that opens up like that. So be on the lookout for these um, reviews coming up probably today. Um, this is the first one that I'm doing today and the others will follow. Uh, so thank you for watching. So this is the front cover. Here is the back. And I wasn't sure about about these these books that I got from Chris Price. I hadn't had any illustrations by him before. I hadn't seen any. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. This is a great book. This is The Sickness. And you can see the binding here. Um, these pages are one-sided, so I'm not going to have both sides of the paper on here, this way or this way, um, because one side is blank, and I wanted to get as close as I possibly could on here um, to the actual pictures of the illustrations so you could see them up close and personal. You get this arranged here, and I am working on lighting and I'm also working I've had lots of people ask um, show us your work show show us what you've done with the coloring books you've reviewed I am in the process of doing that um, I need a better setup for my camera and uh, because right now it, it's on a selfie stick and it's hanging over a desk and I'm off to the side on this side of the camera. If I was down here trying to color, you guys would only see my head right here. Um, so I would really like to do some coloring videos. I just need a better setup for my camera. So with that said, let me go ahead and continue um, here. The only page I'm going to show you is this page here. This is the informational page. And that's the only page that is on that side of the book. The rest are single-sided on the bottom side. These are exquisitely done drawings, extremely detailed. However, I'm so proud of the illustrator, editor, and people like that. There is a lot of detail in here, but they were aware of that. And they made the book large enough for people to actually color in these little detailed things. Look at these donuts down here. These are tiny little donuts, but the book is big enough for you to actually color them and not try to color one and color five at the same time. Um, so they've done a fantastic job on size and everything else on this book. It's a very well made book and I'm very pleased and excited that I have this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a flip through here. The paper quality of the book is the only thing I would complain about. 
It is perfect for the price of the book. They, they did nothing wrong. However, with as nicely made as this book is and as much thought as they put into making it large enough that you could do the details, where some people just, when they publish the books, the books are just a little too small to get those fine details in there. This book is not like that. So the only complaint I would have would be the paper quality. The paper is a thin cardstock type paper or a very expensive high quality copy paper it it is not it is not what i had hoped that that it would be in this book that is my only complaint however for the price it's perfect for the book i would have expected more had the book been five or ten more dollars than it, than it was this is a very reasonable book on amazon and i got it for i think um 9.50 i pre-ordered this book and I think I got it for nine fifty something along those lines off of Amazon. So the pages in here, because they are single sided, would be fine for those alcohol markers so many people really enjoy using. The Spectrum Nora ones, the Prismacolor ones, they would be great for that as long as you have a blotter paper between the top and bottom. So if you put it between here, you'll be able to use those alcohol markers like people so much like to use. I love using them as well. I think they're they're great. Let me break this binding real quick. Now because it is sewn, the binding opens completely and there will not be you'll see here in just a second. There will not be any overlap of the page above it um, because it is sewn. And I love books that are bound by sewing. They open up flat, and that is just a great feature. I have not flipped through this whole book yet. So like I was saying, this would be great for alcohol markers. It would be great for almost any medium. I would be careful if you're using watercolor or watercolor type mediums. Um, if you're using them, go very light on the water and it should be fine. The paper is is good enough quality that it should not be that bad. Um, the other thing I would warn people about, when you use watercolor, you always have to tape down or stretch whatever it is that you're watercoloring. Any paper, even watercolor paper, will buckle and it will ripple. If, if you're using watercolor at all, you have to tape it down that will um, not stop it from wrinkling, but when it wrinkles, it won't be able to draw into itself. So it will stay flat um, as long as it's taped down. On one of my reviews, I, I saw that somebody used watercolor on a book that that is made for watercolor. It had watercolor paper inside the coloring book. And they replied, they left me a comment stating that um, the paper did buckle and it did ripple um, when they used watercolor in that book and was, was very disappointed. I don't blame them. I would be disappointed too. However, what you can do to stop that is to tape down your page. Take it out of the book, cut it out with an X-Acto knife at the top, and just tape it down. Even to something like this um, would be fine. A piece of wood even would be fine. As long as it's taped down, it will not be able to draw into itself to crinkle or ripple or have that wave that goes through watercolor mediums. So this paper would be good for colored pencils would be great in this. The paper has almost a matte type feel to it. It's almost silky um, filling and it's very nice paper for the quality of the book, it, it is very good paper. Um, so colored pencils would work, crayons, ink pens, gel pens, um, alcohol type markers will go through the paper. So just be sure you have a blotter page between the pages before you, you do that. Watercolor, like I said before, go ahead and use it. You know, it watercolor is a great medium, even, even in um, Dover Public, publicated books, uh, the Dover coloring books, with the very thin copy paper type of stuff. You can use watercolor in those pages. You just have to be very careful with the water usage and tape the page down. 
water-based markers uh, would do fine with this. I don't believe that it would go through. If it does, it would be very, very little. I've not tried any mediums in this book yet. Like I said, I just got them today, and I'm hoping um, to try them out really soon. I have so many coloring books um, that it is very difficult to try out each one of my coloring books. And as soon as I get my camera situation figured out um, to film it a little better, I will be doing um, coloring reviews while I color or why, while I um, watercolor with paint or something. Um, I will be doing that. I do a lot of things with mixed media. So that will be fun. And this is a rather large book. There's a lot of pages in here, and it's all very nicely done. The ink is thick in places, but um, I don't think that's going to hurt anything at all. And there's a little paragraph in the very back um, that talks about the illustrators and where they're from. And that is the end of the Sweet Shop Coloring Book, a fantastical and splendid display of divine confectionery creation and exquisite candied delights, illustrated by Chris Price. Thank you so much for watching, and happy coloring!